G'day guys, BJ from Moon and Craft Boats. Been a while since you've seen me, but I'm gonna give you a run down the latest six metre offshore to leave the factory. Today we've got Christian six metre offshore. As you can tell, why six metre? Name civil made. Um, twin rig boat, uh, so this boat predominantly fishing out of lakes, chasing swords, a lot of tune off western ports. I'll be a local boat, which is good to see. Um, so 280 litre fuel tank, all the standard inclusions. We've got the, the molded dive door, as you've seen before, the swing and molded dive door. Sitting on a 3.3 tonne easy tow trailer, with all the stainless steel upgrades, so the rotational spare, all the good bits and pieces. So as I mentioned before guys, this boat's predominantly going to be doing a lot of offshore fishing, so out of lakes and chasing tuna off western port, things like that. So hence got the big twins, which is a perfect start for this boat for offshore reliability. So we're up in Christian's helm here. Uh, as I mentioned before, at the back of the boat, we have got the new 140 Suzuki to the BGs. So here's the controls. So as you can tell, they're all fly by wire. So really, really nice bit of kit there. Um, got the push button start, all that sort of stuff that features on the larger outboards that Trishland been available to the smaller engines. So that's really cool. Um, as you can see, there's no uh, sharp plotter. Uh, Christian's pretty much, we've done a BMT for Christian. We've done all the batteries, we've done the fuel set up, all the engine set up, obviously, um, and all the basic stuff ready to go. So he'll go through and just add his bits and pieces as he goes. Um, we've got the grab rail here up on the dash with the wind deflector. And we've also got the uh, Bimini Dunbar all aboard trimming. So really nice and watertight. We've got the, all the rubber seals, the over tight, and everything's also Velcroed. So for, for a Bimini, they are very watertight. So that's just an awesome, really nice finish there. All right, guys, so the, here for seating options, we've got the gas pedestal. Head and craft seats on the gas pedestal on the driver side and then on the passenger side here you can see we've got a, the other head and craft seat but it's on a custom esky seat frame so put the esky underneath and we've got the fold away seat so nice and versatile this boat's going to be a lot of time um, out sword fishing and things like that so long days on the water so it gives you an extra seating position and gives you somewhere to put your esky for those long days out on the water got the head and craft game Game station, so that's yeah, just awesome. Love it. Got to get one myself. Uh, it's got the four rod holders and the two cup holders. Um, up on top here, got the rocket launcher. So we've got the ten rod holders and a shotgun. Uh, the anchor lights on there. Um, Christian will go along and put his lights and all his antennas and that on as he goes with his fitter. Another beautiful boat by the team. The finish is a superb. I can't wait to see it all finished. Um, hopefully, it's got a nice big sword hanging out of it very soon.